Hello student, today we are going to discuss about a solution of a linear difference equation with constant coefficient. So, what is the general form of a difference equation? First, we write a general form of a difference equation. So, what is the general form of a difference equation? A0, A0, y x plus n plus a1 y x plus n minus 1 n minus 1 up to a n y x equal phi x. Suppose this one is equation number 1. This one is about this one is a general form of a difference equation. Where what? Where a0 where a0 a1 a2 up to an and phi x phi x are function of x are function of x function of x function of x. So, this general form of a difference equation can be categorized into a linear difference equation or non-linear difference equation. So, if uh, how we categorize this one, how we identify the given difference equation is a linear or non-linear. So, if how we categorize this one in the linear. So, if successive values of a y, if successive, successive, successive values of dependent variable, successive values of a y, that is y, y x plus 1, y x, y x plus 1, y x plus 2, up to y x plus n, present in first degree, present, present in general form in equation 1 in first degree in first degree degree and no any multiple of and no any multiple of no or you can say not multiplied together no any multiple of these present in the no any multiple of multiple of these values and no any multiple of these values these values also not present in equation not present in the equation in the equation equation uh, you may also say in other word not multiplied together means uh, these term not multiplied together public you may write this one not multiplied together not multiplied together not multiplied together together for example if we try to categorize the given difference equation is a linear or non-linear if we take a example one example one Suppose here we write uh, y x plus 2, 
minus 3y x plus 1 plus 2yx equal 7. This one is your first equation. And similarly, suppose here we write some other equations, other difference equation. Second one is a y x plus 3 whole square whole cube x plus 3 whole cube plus 3yx equal x square plus cos x. This one is a second difference equation. And third difference equation is a y x plus 1 y x minus 2 y x x minus 1 x minus 1 equal what y x minus 1 equal x square plus 7 x plus 4. So there are three equations. So if we closely observe the first equation and try to categorize this one is a linear or non-linear, then all the term of a dependent variable means a y, y x, y x plus 1, y x plus 2 present in a first degree means the power of a each term is a 1. And there is a no any multiple of a these term means uh, there is no any multiple of y x y x plus 1 y x plus 1 and y x plus 2 so this one satisfy both the conditions so this one is a what this one is under the category of a linear difference equation this one is a linear difference equation linear difference equation linear difference equation linear difference equation and in second one, if we closely observe the first term, the degree of a first term is a 3. This means uh, this one satisfy, uh, this one does not satisfy the first criteria, means uh, each term have, uh, each term have a, uh, each term must have a first degree. Degrees uh, must be 1. But here, degree is 3. Uh, degree of a first term is a 3. So, this one is a non-linear difference equation. Non-linear difference equation. Non-linear difference equation. Second one, each term have a degree 1. Means a uh, yx, the degree of a yx is a 1. The degree of a yx plus 1 is a 1. Degree of a yx minus 1 is a 1. Means first criteria, this Difference equation satisfy the first criteria means uh, all dependent variable and its successive differences have a degree 1. But there is a multiple of uh, these two terms. There is a multiple of a uh, yx and yx plus 1. yx and yx plus 1. Multiple of a uh, uh, two successive differences yx and yx plus 1 present in the difference equation. So, this one is a non-linear. This one is a non-linear. Non-linear. So, in this way, be able to differentiate which equation is a linear difference equation and which equation is a non-linear difference equation. So, there are two criteria. First one, there is no any multiple of uh, these terms these term yx, yx plus 1, yx plus 2 up to yx plus 1. And first criteria, all term present with first degree, with first degree. And second one, not multiplied together, not multiplied together. So these are the two criteria. If any one criteria does not satisfy, then we say that the difference equation is a nonlinear. Now, next one, if we try to categorize the linear difference equation again, so there are two categories of a linear difference equation. We try to categorize the linear difference equation. So, linear difference equation can be categorized as linear difference equation 
linear like a differential equation the as in a first lecture we say that difference equation is uh, similar to the a uh, concept of a difference equation is uh, similar to the concept of a differential equation so linear difference equation if we categorize the linear difference equation difference equation linear difference equation then linear difference equation can be categorized into a two parts first one linear difference equation linear difference equation difference difference equation with variable coefficient equation with variable coefficient with variable coefficient variable coefficient coefficient second one is a linear difference equation with constant coefficient linear difference equation with constant coefficient with constant constant coefficient coefficient so if multiple uh, as in a general form of a linear difference equation if here we write a general form of a linear difference equation then this one is a what this one is a a0 y x plus n plus a1 y x plus n minus 1 n minus 1 up to a n y x equal phi x phi x so here if the values of a0 a1 a n all be the constant once again i repeat this statement if the values of a0 a1 a2 up to a n all values are constant then this one is a, under the category of a linear difference equation with constant coefficient otherwise if any one is a function of ix then this one is a linear difference equation with variable coefficient so how we categorize this one here it be right if if a0 a1 a2 up to an are constant are constant constant then if uh, we denote this one as equation number 2 then then equation 2 equation 2 with a linear difference equation with constant coefficient in a short form may be right then equation 2 is is linear difference equation difference equation with constant coefficient otherwise 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 linear difference equation linear difference equation with variable coefficient linear difference equation with variable coefficient with variable variable coefficient variable coefficient okay so if all the values means a0 with the constant a1 with the constant a2 with the constant an with the constant then this general form of a difference equation this general form of a linear difference equation is known as a linear difference equation with constant coefficient if any one values means either a0 or a1 or a2 are all values of a a0 a1 an be the function of a x then this one is a linear difference equation with variable coefficient now we closely observe and this uh, difference equation linear difference equation uh, with constant coefficient if a0 a1 a2 an be the constant then this can be written in a more simplified form 
and that simplified form is this one means uh, if we write uh, general form linear difference equation with a constant coefficient in a general form then this one is a a0 y x plus n plus a1 y x plus n minus 1 up to a n y x equal phi x phi x now if we try to write this one in term of a shift operator then this can be written as a z a zero and a third shift operator of a y x plus a one n minus one -th order of a shift operator of a y x up to last one zero -th order shift operator of a y x so here i am not going to write e zero y x directly we write a uh, because e zero the value of a zero be the one so here directly we write the y x equal phi x phi x so if we simplify this one then this become a zero e to power n plus a one e to power n minus one means uh, n minus one at order shift operator similarly last one is a an and if we equate y x outside then this become phi x this one equal phi x now since in a linear difference equation with constant coefficient a 0 a 1 a 2 up to a n be the constant so this may be written as a function of a e function of a e this one is a word this one is a function of a e function of a e y x equal what phi x this one is a more simplified form more simplified general form of a linear difference equation with constant coefficient linear difference equation with constant coefficient f of e y x equal phi x so again if we categorize the linear difference equation with constant coefficient you may categorize this one as a homogeneous difference equation and non-homogeneous difference equation means a linear difference equation with constant coefficient can we also categorize further can we also categorize as a homogeneous and non-homogeneous difference equation so how we write this one so if phi x equal if phi x equal 0 phi x equal 0 we denote this one is a equation number 2 here we write equation number 1 this one is equation number 2 if phi x equal 0 then uh, equation 2 then then equation 2 equation 2 then equation 2 means uh, become uh, equation 2 can be uh, we say that this one is what equation 2 is a uh, then equation 2 is homogeneous 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 difference equation homogeneous difference difference equation homogeneous difference equation and if phi x does not equal to 0 and if phi x does not equal to 0 then obviously this one is a non-homogeneous difference equation then then equation 2 is non-homogeneous difference equation non-homogeneous difference equation homogeneous difference equation difference equation non-homogeneous